If you would like to master the art of sliding on clay, then this is the video for you. Clay, grass and hard courts are all courts that you can slide on, but clay is the very first surface that you should think of when sliding. The importance of sliding on clay can help you to move better on the court as well as adjust your position in order to the accordance of the ball. In this video, I'm going to talk about the benefits of sliding and why you should implement it into your game. Why clay is such a good surface in order to play on, in order to improve your movement. In particular, when sliding on clay, it's very important to make sure that you have a wide sturdy base as well as making sure that you slide before you hit each and every shot. There are three key benefits to sliding on clay. The first one is the court coverage as you're able to cover a wider surface of area of the court while staying balanced. The second aspect is speed and this is to help you to push off and recover faster. The third point is your footwork. When playing tennis on a slippery surface, it's very important to stay sturdy and balanced when pushing off to recover. It's also very important to make sure that you stay low and balanced and sliding helps you with that. On different tennis surfaces, you'll have different shoes. On a clay court, you will have clay court tennis shoes. And in my hands here, I have Lacoste tennis shoes. As you can see at the base of the shoes, there's zigzag like lines. And these waves help to create a little bit better traction when sliding and moving around on the court. It's so important to have the right footwear when playing on different surfaces as you're able to be better balanced and also this can prevent injuries. When starting to slide on a clay court can be quite scary at first but once you get the hang of it and you get the confidence it's a lot of fun. Great first exercise to try is by pushing your feet out just like you are ice skating and as you can feel underneath your feet, the ground starts to move slowly. And as you increase the speed of your movement when moving from left to right, you can feel as though you're pushing out with the weight on your leading leg. This is very important when helping you to slide. Next key thing to help you with sliding is to make sure that your balance is right in the center. So your head being the center point of your body, feet wide apart. Another key aspect of sliding is making sure that as you lean forwards, you always want to imagine that you keep your head upright and in the center. As you know, tennis is 70% lateral movement. So it's key to make sure that you can master the aspects of sliding from left to right. One important thing to be aware of when sliding is to make sure that your toe is not pointing directly forwards always because if you are leading on the outside of your toe, as you can see, this is very prone to rolling your ankle. In an ideal world, what you want to do when sliding is you want to lead a little bit more with your front of your toe. This way your ankle is less likely to weigh from the left to right and therefore you'll be stronger when loading for your wide balls. The first exercise we're going to start off with is catching with your hand. You're going to slide into the catch. So what you want to imagine is that you want to slide into the stop. As you can see, my toe is slightly pointing outwards before resetting back to the center, sliding onto that front leg. And again, we're going onto the outside leg. As you can see, my center of mass is equal and balanced. I'm making sure that I keep my head at the center point and I want my wide base to be with my toes. Slide to catch. And as you can see, my chest is upright, my head is upright, most importantly. So therefore, I'm gonna be poised and balanced, ready to swing. What you need to see is that when I slide up to my backhand, I'm making sure that my weight is on the outside leg a little bit more than the inside leg. Slide out, good, and one more. Pushing out and drive. You see from a side angle here, can you see that my knee is bent more on my front leg and my back knee is lowered down. This way my chest can stay upright as opposed to bending the front knee and then tilting with my upper torso. We always wanna to try to imagine that we wanna keep that triangle down to the toes. So lower, wider, swing. For the second exercise, you're going to have your racket in your hand. You're going to let the ball now roll through the center of your legs, trying to keep that wide base. As you can see, I'm sliding into the lunge. I'm making sure that I have that wide base and I'm not trying to overstep my mark. So I'm sliding in, stop before swinging. The key when sliding to wide balls is to make sure that you do not slide after you've already hit your shot. This will delay in wasting extra time and the unnecessary steps when recovering back to the center. For the third exercise, we're going to stand very close to the net. We're going to be practicing how to deal with low drop shots. So I'm going to be lunging into the ball, ready to pick it up. 
As you can see for this exercise, I'm making sure that I'm keeping my head upright and I'm looking with my eyes towards my target. I'm trying to not lean my body too much. This is to help me have more stability over my shots and also give me that extra boost of control. This is one of my favorite exercises, not only on a clay court, but as well for your overall movement. This is called the spider game. If you want to level up your footwork, then learn these various movement patterns. So as you can see, I have six cones laid out in front of me, two in front, two to the sides and two behind me the importance of this game is to make sure that when you slide to drive out to one shot you're going to recover back to the center after each and every shot key when moving to the cones is to make sure that your chest faces forwards as much as possible you do not want to over rotate as well as facing backwards when recovering it's very important that you also stay with a wide base when pushing out to the cone as you can see I'm sliding to stop before striking and finally make sure that you do not rush take your time and stay well balanced as you know tennis is a multi -direct directional sport and 85% of your movement is between two to three steps. So as you can see how I've laid out the court like so, this covers a wide area of the court. Please let me know in the comments if you found this video useful in helping you to learn to slide on clay and I wish you guys all the best. Take care guys, see you soon.